guess that's the other problem, isn't it? Like, it's easy at this first part, because they haven't spawned in yet, but... Then you come back this way, and well, you can't get away from them, really. Oh. I was holding the spin jump button as if that was what I needed to make my jump go higher. <laughs> Precise for my liking. We've done it once so far. Dull. It's gonna be a lot of this, isn't it? Hmm. How many honest tries do I want to give it before I give in to temptation? Wow, that was very bizarre. Come on. Right over there. Up here, ghosties. I want to think I'm getting better at this part. <laughs> As I die on this spike for like the hundredth time. Okay. Dull. I barely caught the side of him instead of the top of him. Yeah. I've noticed SMBX has some weird little audio glitches every time I die, and I don't know why that is, but I hope this episode is not too unpleasant to listen to as a result. That's all I gotta say about that. I have no idea how to fix it. Or if it even can be fixed. SMBX is one of those programs that kind of just dicks with everything for no apparent reason. Darn it. Up, 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 up. I'm like trying to run left. Or not left, right. I'm trying to run right immediately. Got this part down, Pat. I can handle that. Why must you be so hard? Why? Oh boy. Well, at least I was able to jump over here without any trouble. It's practice for whenever we ever hit that switch again in 300 years. I always felt like levels of this nature are kind of like a bit sadomasochistic. It's like the people who make them make them only to see people suffer, and the people who play them only play them to suffer. <laughs> like, like they take it on as a challenge, but I don't know. Like I said earlier, it feels like an exercise in frustration more than anything. And depending on what level of perfection is required to get through this, I probably will end up cheesing it. Because <laughs> I can only die to this early stuff and have it be interesting so many times. And yeah, we have no idea how long this is going to be either. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Goodness, she can get over there that quickly. Ah, oh, rough. Too bad this isn't like Mario Maker where you can see all the little X's pop up every time someone died at a place. I feel like that mechanic, at least in Mario Maker, is a little bit nice. Maybe it makes you feel like less of a fool if you messed it up. Because it's like, see here. Here's where all the other people messed it up too. Also, screw you, ghost. That sucked.
ฮ้ยว่าเราสามารถฝึกฝนได้อีกแล้วยิ่งเมื่อเราตีเราจะสามารถเข้าถึงประตูแรกได้จริงๆไม่รู้สึกว่าเป็นปัญหาใหญ่มากแต่มันจะเป็นความยากที่ต้องเข้าไปถึงประตูที่สองฮึมต้องเข้าไปที่ประตูที่สองให้ได้ถูกต้องที่สุดแล้วเราจะได้ถูกต้องที่สุดฮึและผมจะยอมรับว่าในฐานะ SMBX ฟิกส์ฉันรู้สึกว่าเขาเป็นมากกว่าฟิสิกส์ที่เขาเป็นไปเพื่อที่เกมมันมอเดลไปดังนั้นแต่เพราะฟิสิกส์มันเยอะขนาดนั้นก็หมายความว่าคุณสามารถทำเข้าถึงปัญหาใหญ่ขนาดนี้ได้และมันจะสามารถทำให้มันเสร็จได้อย่างที่ควรจะทำได้อะไรที่ทำให้ได้ทำให้ได้ทำให้ได้ทำให้ได้ทำให้ได้ทำให้ได้ทำให้ได้ทำให้ได้ทำให้ได้ทำให้ได้ทำให้ได้ทำให้ได้ทำให้ได้ Darn it! I was like, I've got to get it. I've got to get it. Ah! All right. I hate that second guy so much. It's so easy. To just bump into the side of him. This. I'm gonna get spiked. That was like perfect jump. Okay, let's just look. There's a checkpoint there. That's reassuring. Okay, so it looks like there's conveyor belts down there. We don't want to walk off, or we're gonna get spiked. Uh. Okay. I don't trust this mushroom. See, the mushroom vanished. I bet that was poison, man. Okay, Fervus. Oh. So if I jump anywhere under these platforms, I'm gonna get pop out the top of them. Is that it? Yeah, I can't like. Mm. Even like the minimum jump. Yeah, or I guess I could just tank the hit coming through. That doesn't seem. Correct, but oh, Kaizo, you and your filthy tricks! Oh, now there's no mushroom. Am I gonna have to like hustle through here when there's nobody? Yeah. Okay. Yes, that's that's the way. Oh, right. how 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 many coin blocks are there? Is that the only one? Just you? 
Oh, no, there was one there, too. Okay. Like, don't jump too close to the Furbiz. Are there gonna be more? Are there gonna be more coin blocks to worry about? Oh, that's kind of tricky, too. I see the door down there. But yeah, if, if this is how the level is going to be, then maybe we won't need to cheat to do it after all. Up, up, up. Because I'm okay with, like, many gauntlet challenges. It's when you pile them all up. That's what sucks. Okay. Uh, let's make sure we've got plenty of momentum. Uh, oh. I wonder if I'd be better off jumping over those guys. Because then... I won't have to worry about, like, the conveyor belt's momentum pushing me back. Yeah, Alright, wing wing. Theoretically, we'll actually gain lives this way, because it's not taking any away from us. And that was just bad timing. Up, up, up. Easy does it. No, Farbot! Alright, well, I get to wait. To your fiery fate. Oops, don't be dumb. Yeah. Okay. We know we can walk off of this. Ugh. It's actually pretty tricky to get over that. But I feel like it's still easier than that first section, so we'll just keep going. We'll just keep trying. Give me my coins. This will be our stocking up for the final, final level. Urgh. Hmm. It's difficult to get the momentum you need to cross that. But I'm certain it can be done. Without too much... Oh, dang it. <laughs> Without too much trouble. <laughs> Helps if you're not an idiot. Gosh, we got there before the Furba could even appear. Gimme. Okay. Now we go like... No, no, no. That was wrong. I want to use my air momentum to pick up speed as much as possible, but it's tricky. Very, very tricky. I don't even know if there's more to the challenge beyond this. It looks like there will be. Well, there's like a door down there. Hmm. Oh, hey, look, we got under it just to find. Okay. Uh. All right. <laughs> thank goodness, or thank goodness that wasn't terrible. Uh, what's up with that door in there? Should I be worried? Is this door a trap? This mushroom's not a trap. I'm curious. That door inside has me wondering. Uh, let's see. Okay, so parts of this tree are solid. There's spikes up there. Okay, ninjas. Oh. I've got to do like a low spin jump across here. Okay. Ghosties, could you come back, please? I need. Ah, oh. uh, the super jumps. That's okay. Like I said, this part isn't so bad. This part, not so bad. Not nearly as tedious as the initial bit. Okay. So we need to keep up with at least one of these ghosties. Oh, this is the pattern they were supposed to be. Oh, dang it. It's gonna keep happening, isn't it? <laughs> Like, remember what it does to you. Remember what it does to your physics. Gotta keep it in mind. Roop. Yeah, that's that's not so bad. If I can just remember that walking off ledges is bad. Okay. Eh? Oh, I need to ride it back. This level is actually surprisingly short. 
which makes me infinitely more curious about that door. What is, what's up with it? What's up with that door? How do you get to the door? Is it another one of Wilhart's make the stage look bigger than it is things, or can you actually get there? I'm sure he will helpfully inform me whether I figure it out or not. I mean, if I figure it out, then I figure it out. If I don't figure it out, he'll tell me. But there's only gonna be one leak in the level. We've already seen it. We know where to go to get it. We don't know how much more involved it'll be, but we know where it is. You never can tell in situations like this what the game is gonna make you try to do. Like, oh, it might seem like we only need to ride the guy back, but maybe we need to do it more multiple times. Did that ever cross your mind? Oh, I had it. What happened? I'm asking myself what happened, not the game what happened. I can clearly see what happened in the game. <laughs> that was a mortal failing. As was that. We do this. We totally do this. We totally do this. Eh. Yeah. Yes. In the door. Do not walk off ledges. I'll take number two, thanks. Oh. oh I pressed the jump button to bounce higher, but I was in the air when I did it, so I didn't bounce any higher at all. <laughs> Okay. Look at that. Look how quickly we got through that. We're practically experts. Whoa. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> I was like, we're safe on top of the tree. And then you walk off the tree and it sends you right into the spikes. No, Verba. Uh, we must do the weight of shame. Okay. Yeah. Sting it first. Give me coins. Oh, hey! My 1-ups fell down to 8. Or fell down to 7 again. What happened to my not losing 1-ups properties? Or is it resetting them at the start? Like it remembered how many we started with and just reset them. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't ask me why I thought I could normal jump off that guy. I just kind of missed the branch and was like, Ah, I get back up there by any means possible. Well, whatever. It's fine. Bonk. Oh, needed more of a run up than that. How are you gonna do this? Oof, oof. Difficult stage is difficult, but fair. I don't hate this like I hated spaghetti. I don't feel like I need to go in the editor and change anything. Although I must admit, I don't really know how Wilhart did the whole super jump thing. I assume it's just a, another of SMBX's physics quirks that I'm un unaware of, but it's kind of annoying. <laughs> it's annoying, but it's not unwelcome. I don't know. It's weird. I don't know how I feel about it. I guess there's nothing specifically wrong with it. Just in this stage, it likes to catch it by surprise. And all you have to do to avoid it is be conscious of what you're doing. But you should be in a Kaizo level anyway. Oh boy. No, Ghosty! Alright, we'll just... Let's not be done. I would like two, please. Yes. Not that the presence of the first makes this any less difficult. See, there we go, no problem. Uh, wait. Ah, oh, man, I wish I'd kept one of those ninjas alive. This would actually be a lot easier. Yeah, see? Uh, 